In today's video, I got a Pit Boss Griddle 5 Burner Deluxe and I do an unboxing and assembly on it. Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue Wisconsin and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. Now putting this griddle together was easy peasy, so grab yourself a beer can and your diner's hat, Mel. We're gonna amplify some backyard barbecue fun. Now, if you've been watching Dead Broke Barbecue long enough, you know that I don't take any notes. I just go ahead and set up my lights and cameras and press record. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, it's working. But today we're gonna be doing an unboxing and an assembly on a Pit Boss 5 Burner Griddle Deluxe. And if you join me on my barbecue tavern talk on Sunday nights, you've heard me say plenty of times that I'm not a short order cook. But if you're doing barbecue on YouTube, you gotta start to learn how to do different things or it gets boring. So I'm really excited to start cooking on a griddle so I can enhance and amplify my backyard barbecue fun. If I'm gonna preach it, I better do it, right? Now in full disclosure, Pit Boss sent me this five burner griddle to do a complete and honest review using it. I'm not getting paid, so it's my opinion and my opinion only. And I think my boys are just excited as I am because they do the breakfast around this household. Yeah, I really like this box cutter. I got it at Family Dollar for like two bucks. Now I'm gonna roll the box away so I can do the assembly right underneath that beautiful Dead Broke barbecue sign that Nick sent me. And it looks pretty good in this background for sure. So we'll just roll her over. Get it back over here. You know, this cart is the best for doing films. Look at, voila. Take your box opener and start cutting on the top, but you wanna make sure you don't stick that knife in too deep because you never know what's on top. Now on this, I'm also gonna just go ahead and start cutting down the sides. Watch out, there's some staples on there. Now like most packaging, you got some corner cardboard and some styrofoam. Now the nice thing about doing it on a table with some casters, you can get behind it and get this stuff off too. See, that's on the cart. Now I can just move it back over here in the corner. Works great. And I'll leave a link in the description below for this stainless steel table. It is awesome. And once you have it, it makes your barbecue life a lot easier. And it's pretty cheap. Grab it, pick it up a little bit, and I wanna get this box out of here. Now in this box, we're gonna have our grease trace, some knobs for our burners, and some handles. Okay, I'm gonna stop these because these are gonna be such wow. long clips. All right, let's just roll it here a little bit, and now we're gonna go ahead and get these styrofoam ends off. Just kind of pick it up and break it off if you have to. Just do a little ring around the rosy, spin it around, and we'll do the same thing on this side. Just get it best you can and get it out of there. Now this little box is just to cover up your regulator. Okay, we got a wire tie here. Let's just get this off. This must be holding our legs together. Do the same thing on the back side. Let's go ahead and open up this cover and see what we got underneath here. If there's anything. Ah, yeah, nice. These are the side shelves. We got our bottom shelf. And let's just spin her here. And now we're gonna have our heavy part, but we've got a nice little sticker. But they used magnets to hold it on and not adhesive. Smart thinking. Now I'm gonna have to man up here, get this off, but this is the heavy part. We got our assembly guide, you're gonna need that. We got our hardware and they send along a Phillips screwdriver and a little wrench, and that makes it easy for you people that don't have a toolbox. We got a little bit more information, we've got a registration card and your owner's manual. And the five burner griddle has a five year warranty from Pit Boss. Makes sense, five years? five burners. That's our unboxing. It's pretty simple. The hardest part is actually picking off the griddle itself. So now we're going to start the actual assembly process. Our first step is to flip it on its backside. Make sure that these pins for the control knobs are facing up. Just simply grab it and get it up like this. All right, so now we can just go ahead and clean up some of this garbage that's on here. Take off some of the bubble wrap right away. Might have to use your trusty box cutter and get this stuff off. Part of the cart is set. We'll just go ahead and pull this straight out. And now we're gonna start securing the legs. Now this griddle is meant to be portable and they send these nice little nuts and they got these little knobs for tightening them up with just your thumbs. That makes it really simple. So we'll just rotate this around and I can show you. So once you pull the legs back, you can already see that they have that pre-threaded nut inside it. Just go ahead, tighten them up. And we'll just repeat on the other side. 
get this packaging protection off. Go ahead and get in your thumb screws. So now we're gonna put in our shelf and Pip Boss has to read like this. You're just gonna go ahead and get it tucked through here and they get hooked onto these rails. So just get it kind of lined up and it fits right over the top of that little lip. Have it just like this and then when you flip it up, you'll be able to read Pip Boss on the bottom. Now again, more thumb screws. And the tubing already has a pre-threaded nut and all you gotta do is just go ahead and get your thumb screw and tighten it up. And just repeat on the other side. This camera is way out of whack now. Now I'm just gonna roll it forward and we're gonna flip it back on its right side. Now for me to do this by myself, I'm gonna have to close up these little covers for right now. And we'll just scoot it back like this. And now you're gonna have to be a strong man, but because I left the cardboard on, it's gonna be a lot easier. Just go ahead and pull it forward, It'll get her so she's kind of teetering a little bit. And now you gotta muscle up. Just like that. Now this is light, it's not that heavy. It's just a little awkward for one guy. Get our fancy stainless steel assembly cart out of the way. Thank you for all your help today. You did a great job. Now the casters on the bottom, they lock. We can just go ahead and roll this back right here and we'll finish our assembly. So in the next step, we're gonna put our griddle back on. You might wanna wear a pair of gloves. I'm wearing them because it's cold out. Now this griddle weighs more than that whole cart pretty heavy. Make sure that the grease trap is on your left side. And you can see those little holes and here's your pegs. And we're just gonna carefully line it up. And there we go, we fit right on top of our grease pit. Perfect. And now we'll just close up our cover and our shelves. And these do have a groove, so make sure you close your left one first. And for right now, we're just gonna leave it just like that. Now grab your little screwdriver and a handle. And you wanna make sure when you're putting these on that you have these knobs up. These little knobs are for when you open up the cover, they have something to relax on. And I'm just gonna start on this right side. And again, we have the preset nuts. We got four of them. Just take your handle, line it up and get them screwed in. Line this one up and get this one in. And just repeat on the other side. And then when you have them all finger tight, go ahead and use your screwdriver and just get them nice and snug. And repeat and put the other handle on the left hand side. Now we're gonna install the five knobs and that's really simple. And they are slotted so they can only go on one way. But this is so easy, you can have your kids do it. But my kids, they're playing hooky today and I have to film by myself. You can see that these knobs are slotted and so are the pins, but start with the flat side on the knob up. Get her on. And that's it. Just gonna repeat with the other four. Just line them up, get them on. Our knobs are installed. Does that mean I'm a knob? Yeah. Our last thing for actually assembly that we have to do is put on our grease cup support. And you're gonna need two more number A screws. The support has a couple holes right here, but these smaller ones are where you're gonna wanna put your screws in. You can see this is why they have this notched out. But you have your pre-threaded nuts already on there. Just get it up, line it up, take a screw, start threading it in. And now that they're finger tight, just take your trusty little Phillips screwdriver and get them snug. Go ahead and take your grease cup and put it in the support. Pretty simple, it just fits just like that. And the only other thing left to do is just go ahead and push down those hooks that hold your tank. But I'm not hanging a bottle on it today, so there's your unboxing and assembly on the Pit Boss 5 Burner Griddle Deluxe. I would have loved to have been able to do the assembly outside, but it's January and it's snowing out. It's a lot better here in the garage. Old Man Winters finally arrived here in Wisconsin, so there's not a lot that I can do about it. You can see that this griddle has already been pre-seasoned, but the next time you see me using the five burner griddle, I'm gonna actually season it first. We wanna do this right. Now I'm not knocking that factory pre-seasoning job, but I have a few cast iron pans, and I just feel if you season it right, it's gonna work a lot better. People are gonna start calling me Mel. Now that I'm cooking on a griddle, I'm just like him in the TV show Alice. I'm just missing the hat. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Turn on that notification bell because you don't want to miss my next video. I really hope that you don't. And I hope you really turn on that notification bell. It means a lot to me. But I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. You know, I don't think I made one mistake videotaping this, so there ain't gonna be a lot of bloopers in this one.